What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Dragon Ball Legends video. Today we've got some exciting things to talk about. We're going to be talking a little bit about adventures and then we're going to be getting into some PvP action because I am going to be pushing to rank 50 in PvP this season. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so first and foremost, I do want to show you guys adventures and just jobs and stuff right now because they are insane. You are guaranteed to get three and four star jobs at this point in time for just going into raiding battles and pvp and as you guys can see right now you're going to be able to get a lot of really really solid things you know you get three star rising souls two star rising souls milk crates which are insane you also get a ton of zenny which is definitely much much appreciated so always have those puppies running at all times you know you really can't go wrong if you have five of them running whenever possible three of them you know if you ran out of pvp medals and you don't have the uh the medals to refill them uh, because obviously it does cost about 50 per 10 uses so it's five pvp medals for every single time you're going to go ahead and do that uh really not that huge of an investment to be completely honest it's very very nice to have the resources you're going to be getting from them so definitely cannot recommend enough that you go ahead and take advantage while you can because i'm sure that they're going to nerf these at some point or at least, you know, the value you're going to be getting out of them won't be as much because you're going to be going to higher levels with a higher skill cap that requires more experience. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first rating matches of the day. Now, as you can see, we're running a hybrid Saiyan team at the moment. I'm trying to get as many wins as possible because I want to get a bunch of maxed out hybrid Saiyan equipment. As you guys probably know at this point, the hybrid Saiyan team is easily my favorite team in the game right now and i just want to make them as good as they possibly can be i want to make sure that you know whenever a really amazing hybrid sand does eventually come out probably w within the next like month or so maybe um that i'm ready for it i'm ready i've got the equipment i've got the rising souls i've got the super souls i've got everything that i need and so far i definitely think that i am on the right track especially having you know 298 percent kid gohan i've got trunks i think at like 230 percent or something like that and then pans at like 200 something percent pretty early off in 200 percent so you know i still have a long ways to go on those three particular characters however definitely looking like they're in an awesome position right now to go into you know whatever the the hybrid saiyan addition to the team is going to be you know i want go tanks man i want super saiyan go tanks so so bad you guys don't even know that would just be awesome you know likewise there are some other hybrid saiyans i would love if we could get you know an ultimate gohan i would be super hyped about that um and there are quite a few other ones but you know those are the main ones that i'm looking at you know go tanks and uh super saiyan gohan or not super saiyan gohan um but ultimate gohan that's what i was looking at right so <laughs> what am i even talking about but yeah definitely looking for them i mean you know teen gohan would be pretty sick as well actually you know the hybrid saiyan team is probably going to get a lot of support down the line and i am all here for it my friends you know a lot of you guys i know are totally into the saiyans you're totally down with the saiyans you are ready to uh put everything into them whether it be rising souls super souls or all of your zenny and you know things like that but i i am there for my hybrid saiyans my man could we please get a match at some point today that would just be awesome uh we got a match cool so sorry about that uh that was Ooh, that was a bit of a, a bit of a wait. Okay, running into this matchup, guys. I think I wish that I had a purple right now. That's my main issue. I wish I had a purple. I almost don't want to run Gohan. We need to bring Pan just in case we see Trunks used. God, this is a rough one, guys. This is a rough one. That Ginyu is going to be tough. I think he's going to use Ginyu, too. That said, the Z abilities don't really line up too well, so... This might end up going well for us. We will have to see. Either way, I'm not too amazingly concerned about this team, but Ginyu will be the, the biggest issue for us, I think. You know, Turl is a little bit, but not as much because we've got Gohan. And it does look like we actually did predict this matchup correctly, which is fantastic. Very big fan of that, as you guys probably know. Uh, we're going to start off hot, unfortunately taking quite a bit of damage right now from Broly. Not that big of a deal, though. We're going to send in our, our fantastic 
fantastic friend right now and uh, actually going to go in and try to do some damage to this turtle. If we could just keep just doing a ton of damage to him, that would be incredible. We're going to just go for some blast attacks and then go in for the strikes whenever we can because we do probably about 30,000 damage or so every single time we go in for one of those. We actually have a really, really nice rotation right now. Just going to keep doing this. And uh, I'll go for a Rising Rush in a second here. I did not mean to do that. That was stupid, man. I should not have done that. It takes some damage from Broly. Not really that big of a deal, though. Again, we have the type advantage. We should be pretty good to go. Taking a lot of damage from that special. Still not a ton, though. You know, really not that huge of an issue. Uh, we'll go in right now. Oh, my God. He just keeps predicting everything completely correctly. I just want to go in for the Rising Rush. Unfortunately, not going to happen. I'm going to set... No! Oh, this is bad. We're going to lose... We're going to lose Piccolo. We're going to lose Piccolo. We're going to lose him right now. Please, please do Blast. Please do Blast. Actually, that special is pretty sick. Oh, punt. Dang it, man. That's Strike. That's Strike Art. Turtle is, uh, his, um, his special is really cool. I can't, I can't get too mad. Uh, and yeah, I didn't think you had dodge left. That sucks. Obviously, we're going to do a ton of damage right now. Do I? I'm just going for it, man. We've got our strike. We might as well. Uh, we'll take the blast right now because, well, he'll probably actually predict that, honestly. We should be able to kill if we hit this. We will hit this. It's possible it doesn't go through if his defense is high. Oh, it's not going to be enough. God dang it, guys. That sucks. We're going to take some serious damage from him in this combo. That type of advantage is rough, man. That is rough. But... Our damage output is really, really good. Really, really good. Please, 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 please. There we go. And we're going to go for a nice little combo right now. Going for the strike afterwards. It will do quite a bit of damage. And I'm going to send in our buddy Pan to hopefully clean up this Trunks. Because Trunks, you are not fun to deal with, my dude. You're not fun to deal with. You're a little tad bit annoying. We're going to go for the key gain right now. We're going to leave our, uh, our buddy Gohan right in the back to sort of just stay there and not do a whole much a whole much a whole lot until we're ready for him you know and uh we'll go in for another strike after that and then we're gonna go for the super that should kill yeah we should we should be pretty good to go guys uh that broly obviously gonna come out now we're gonna go for the dodge i'm gonna throw it uh, we're gonna go for a blast combo um unfortunately not going to work out too well for us we're taking a lot of hits right now that strike is gonna hurt man it is hurting. It is hurting. That is it, actually. We're going to go ahead and lose her. But that said, not really too concerned at the moment. Still feeling okay. Feeling okay. Uh, we definitely, sooner rather than later, want to go ahead and go for that Masenko. That is important. It's going to go for the dodge, obviously. We want the extra damage, really. It's going to go in for the special. Probably do about 150,000 damage. Should not kill. About 100,000 damage, actually. A little bit less than I anticipated. So that's actually pretty decent for us, man. I'm not going to lie. Pretty happy about that one. Um, going to go into the strike combo there. We should... No! Oh, my God. What is with this guy and predicting everything correctly? It's really annoying. That almost is going to kill. Not quite, though. And uh, we're going to go for a strike combo right now. I don't think this is going to be enough, guys. I don't think this is going to be enough. Going for the strike damage. Oh, God. He used the strike. He knew. Okay, so just so you guys know, just a little bit of a quick pro tip. Um, I don't know if any, everybody's aware of this. If you actually dash and go for a quick strike, you know, not a strike arts, but a quick strike, you can actually stop a blast arts. You can stop a blast arts because the startup is not going to be faster than your initial attack with the quick strike. So, you know, like when you run and you, you first, you swipe up, you dash towards them, and then you're going to tap the screen as opposed to actually using an arts card that's going to allow you to quick strike and uh that's going to actually be faster than the startup for blast arts which means that it's going to use up their card but also going to give you the strike so that's why i went ahead and tried to do that did not work out unfortunately should not have gone in for the strike arts after the dodge or before the dodge rather that was probably where i ended up losing now that said he's probably going to this guy going on to this game now he's got a really solid team I think I want to use, oh man, we could see, we could see Kid Gohan, but I doubt it, but I could, I think we could, I think we could, and we definitely need to bring, yeah, we'll go with this, we'll go with this, and I'm going to start Kid Gohan because I think he's going, no, he won't start with Vegeta, no, we're starting Piccolo, we're starting Piccolo because I think he's going to either start Broly or Extreme Goku, probably Extreme Goku, 
And we want to have the rotation on him because we should be able to counter everything that he brings with him. You know, I think we're going to see Broly and possibly uh, Vegeta. Or Extreme Goku and Vegeta. I'll finish this. Okay. Interesting. We're taking some hits. Not a big deal. This rotation's good. This rotation's good. Switching in Pan. We'll take some damage. Uh, Piccolo will switch back in. So it's not the best rotation, but it is good. It is good. I didn't... It's a stop the combo. No! Save our dodge. Bang. All right. That's unfortunate. Switch in. We're going to take a hit off of every one, but then we should be good for a switch in pretty, pretty freaking fast. Why did you not switch out before you went for the... Okay. Whatever. We're going to go in for a decent attack right now. Not going to work out amazingly, but still work out okay. Uh, we really need to switch in our Piccolo. No! Oh my god, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. We can't lose Piccolo right now. We're going to lose him. We're going to lose him. There's no way to use the special. Yeah, it's a blast. No! No! Wait. We survived? We survived? That's what I'm talking about. Healing back up. Good stuff. Good stuff. We have got our, our combo ready to go as well, which is just fantastic. Huge, huge, hugely happy about that one. Go, go in for the dodge. Go in for the dodge! It's not complicated, Gohan. You click the dodge button. You dodge. Not hard. Not hard. Come on, man. Do better. It's like, it's a, it's, I don't know what it is, man. Occasionally it works out, but a lot of times it doesn't. I don't exactly know why. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, that's not good. We still have the rising rush. We got the rising rush. This is good. No. Oh, he has dodge. Oh, but he didn't dodge. All right. We got the special going off right now. We got the special going off right now. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got this. 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 Okay. That's a kill. This is what we needed. This is the momentum we needed. Piccolo needs to go down now. We, we want him to die. We want him to die. Actually, we'll take, we'll take him back out right now. We, we're not going to let him die just yet. But we are soon. We are soon going to let him die. Because we want the extra damage from Gohan. That combo, man. That is rough. He's obviously going to switch in there. And we will switch in here. Obviously, he's going to dodge. We're going to dodge. And then we're going to go for a nice little combo. That should be the kill. And now we've got one opponent left to go. I'm going to use I'm gonna use up Pan right now. We're going to totally use up Pan. Piccolo is just sitting in the back right now as basically bait for a Rising Rush. Because we know that the Rising Rush is going to be around before we get our Rising Rush. So we might as well have something in the background to sort of mitigate that. Because obviously, it's going to happen at some point. So... There we go, some damage. Just doing little pot shots, as much damage as we can. Trying to also get that Rising Rush for us, you know, back, basically. And a little bit of strike damage going in right now. Actually, we're going to just take... We're going to go ahead and take out... Oh, no, Pan's going to go down. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. No big deal. Do a whole bunch of damage. Whole bunch... Actually, this could be the game, actually. Yeah, this should be the game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. All right. That went pretty well. Uh, that's probably going to be about it for this one, guys. Let's actually head into some summons. I'm so torn. I don't know if I want to do that or not. We're going to go ahead and do a single summon real quick. And I think... I think that we're going to be doing some more pushing on stream. So if you guys want to follow me over at twitch.tv slash RazorChicken, spelled R-A-Z-O-R-C-H-I-K-E-N, then, uh, you know, maybe you can stick around for some uh, Dragon Ball Legends streams and we can push together on stream or whatever. But um, I do think that this is going to be something that we do end up doing for videos, not every single day, but like relatively regularly because I do like pushing on video. If you guys want to see more you know, PvP pushing on video. I would love to hear it because it's an absolute blast for me. I love PvP in this game. A lot of people don't like it, 
Um, I have to think that that's because of the, the sort of sunk cost fallacy of uh, putting too much money into Dokkan and then, you know, an infinitely better game, which is Dragon Ball Legends comes out, which is a controversial statement, I know. You guys are, I can hear the angry comments being written. I hear, I hear the keyboards going right now, I hear them. But, uh, yeah, I have to think that some, some part of it is that. I really love the PvP, though. We're gonna blow up in the middle, not exactly, yeah, not sure about that one. Cyberman, not great. We're okay, though. We're okay, that's good. Um, you know, you're not always going to get great YOLO summons, but it's definitely going to be a better value than pretty much any other thing in the game. We're up to about 7,600 Chrono Crystals waiting for the Android banner. Again, I have to recommend that you guys go for the current banner situation we've got going on right now. If you haven't seen the video where I went over it yesterday, go ahead and check it out. Um, but the Ultra Space Time Summon number one where you're guaranteed sparkings, really, really solid option, guys. Really, really solid option because you're essentially guaranteed to get a really decent, you know, starter unit. So Piccolo, obviously going to be amazing. Vegeta going to be really, really solid. You always want the, the Z power for Vegeta and for Super Saiyan Goku, so that's a really good option. Pan is going to be good in the future down the line, eventually, someday. Um, you know, not right now. She's not amazing right now. She's a good cover for Kid Gohan at the moment if you're running a hybrid Saiyan team, but otherwise she's not great. So, you know, that's going to be something that you're trying to get um for the future but not necessarily for right now so don't fret if you get a pycon or a uh, a pan because i know a lot of people are upset about getting either one of them and getting a lot of z power for either one of them you're gonna you're gonna want them at some point in the game okay you're gonna want them at some point because even even going back to like some of the hero units right now we're using them if for nothing else to actually do better in these events okay so for example we've got hero krillin right now who is purple and has his own self heal and if you go over to story and you go to events and rat its attacks and you go to ex6 that is a ridiculous amount of damage that you're not going to have to take because you're running a purple krillin that's uh, going to be able to heal himself up it's a really good option one of the better options in my opinion for the uh, purple team that's going to be optimal to run in Raditz Attacks EX5 and 6. So, really solid options all around, you know, if nothing else, then get Pan leveled up and ready for those kinds of situations where you're going up against a red element team in an event that's ridiculously OP, and you just want some really, really solid blue units. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. If, uh, if you... If you enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comment section below. I really would love to hear it because PvP is something I want to bring more of to the channel. And I just, I feel like battles take too long and it sort of loses you guys sometimes. So I guess based on how this video does is how often I'm going to actually upload PvP videos. So let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. As always, if you have any ideas for future videos, drop them down in the comment section below. And until the next one, guys, peace.